they act like kids are widgets, that each one can just be put on the assembly line and they'll all turn out the same in the end because we're going to give them the same education. My experience of being a teacher, at least over the past six or seven years, has been one where the prospect of innovation coming from the bottom up has been has been stilted. Right? I mean, we don't, yeah. you know, if anything, we've been told from the top down, be it from the state, mm -hmm. you know, very explicit state standards we have to do or from the district trying to sort of bring all the schools in line, that here's the way you need to do it, and if you just do this, we'll all be fine, um, rather than trusting teachers to find innovative ways to reach out to their kids. You know, I just find that I think that a lot of what we're doing today isn't equitable because we're trying to treat everybody like they're the same. We're sort of in a catch-22 because we have students we have to educate. You know, they talk about the kids in public schools. Well, we have to educate everybody. We can't say, you don't really fit in our school. We think you should go somewhere else, <laughs> which is, you know, what any other private sector entity would do. But there has to be that allowance for us, the content, and the students. And that should be different in every room because the kids are different and because the teachers are different.